The government is drawing up plans to provide the first COVID vaccines to high-risk groups, such as the elderly. And amid fears of new strains of the coronavirus, health experts have called for tighter preventive measures. Johanna Chen reports. Following the confirmation that two students flying in from Britain had brought a new coronavirus strain with them, microbiologist Holpak Leung urged returnees to be tested again. He told a radio show that the government should also ban flights from South Africa. This came after a new variant was found there. With COVID vaccination set to arrive in Hong Kong, Welfare Minister Lo Chi Kwong said the elderly, as well as residents and staff of care homes, will be first to get jabs. The government, he said, is considering how to administer the anti-COVID doses to these people, who are considered to be high risk. Health Minister Sophia Chan said members of the public may choose their preferred vaccines according to location. As an example, she said BioNTech doses will be administered at community vaccination centers. Yesterday, the government announced it acquired another 7.5 million doses of vaccines from AstraZeneca, on top of the 15 million from Pfizer and BioNTech and Chinese firm Sinovac. But government adviser David Ho said Sinovac vaccines may not arrive next month as planned. This followed reports that the release of trial results from Brazil will be pushed back to compare them with data from Indonesia and Turkey. Ho said it was normal for the mainland to tightly supervise its vaccines, but urged the SAR to see whether it is effective against the new COVID strains. Johanna Chan, HKIBC.